Hi everyone, welcome to week four of our Organizational Theory and Behavior course, Management 320A. Uh, this week we have some objectives. The first one is why information systems are vulnerable to destruction, error, and abuse. The business value of security and control, how to enterprise systems, they help businesses achieve operational excellence. The challenges posted by enterprise applications, how internet technology changed business models, the principal payment systems for electronic commerce. This week we're reading chapter nine, foundations of interpersonal and group behavior. We're also reading chapter 10, using teams and organizations. Our video today is learn the difference between a group and a team. So as you know, uh, a group doesn't always mean a team. Uh, we're in a class, which is considered a group, but as you know, not everybody in the class would act like a team if you were to be paired with them to do a project. And that's just common sense. And we do have today uh, two discussions. The first one is why is it useful for a manager to understand group behavior? Some have argued that people, not organizations, make decisions and that the study of the organization uh, decisions remain and are making it therefore pointless. Do you agree with this statement? Why or why not? And number two, why is it important to distinguish between groups and teams? What kinds of behaviors might the, there be different in assemblages? Then our self-assessment exercise today is how well do you add up as a team member? And this exercise is on page 288 to 290. Also this week we have an online quiz. I wanna remind you that everything is due by Sunday at 11.59. And that's PM. That is our West Coast PST time, which is Pacific Standard Time. I also want to remind some of you that I am missing some discussions as well as some of the assessments and quizzes. I do know that we're not meeting on campus, so it is important that you go back and you do any missing assignments because if they're missing, they will be marked as a zero. Also, this will lower your grade. It'll be negative impact. So please make sure you follow through. I just want to remind you that according to our syllabus on page eight, uh, each discussion every week is worth 25 points and there's two discussions every week usually and that means it's 50 points. Also, I want to remind you that if we have case studies, those are worth 100. We have assessments, those are also worth uh, 50. And we also have a quiz which is worth 50. Oh, I meant to say every discussion is worth 50 points. So make sure you, you do that because that's a lot of points that you're going to lose. Okay, you're going to lose 50 to 100 points every week. So make sure you go back and you do that. Thank you so much. And I look forward to reading your discussions and also going back and looking at any case studies you may have forgotten. Just want to remind you that we need to use APA format because some of you are still using MLA or you're making your own format. We do appreciate creativity, but remember uh, your creativity uh, needs to adhere to the standards that the school has set for you. Okay, thank you so much and have a great day. Bye.